Well, good morning, everybody, or uh, good afternoon. Uh, just depends on whenever you're actually seeing this. But I uh, wanted to share something with you um, about something that I feel like we can utilize as a church to uh, continue to grow and continue to do what it is that we are called to do as the church uh, during this time of uh, isolation and uh, separation. So um, it's, a, it's a tool that I've been using for a while, or trying to use for a while, learning to use, I guess I should say. Um, and here it is, uh, you can see it right here behind me. Uh, it's called Bless Every Home. It's just a website that you can go to. But uh, I wanted to kind of go through the features of it so that you could see how that it works. Um, and I believe that if we use this uh, not only now, but if we continue to use it as we move on from this time, uh, hopefully soon, that uh, it's something that can continue to grow our, uh, uh, not only our congregation, but uh, just our influence in our communities, uh, the people that are around us. And, and it can help us to do the thing that we're called to do as the church, which is to go out, uh, disciple people, tell people about Jesus, and to be people of prayer. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get started. I'll tell you um, a <laughs> little known fact about me. One of the first jobs I had in an office was actually uh, doing tutorials on how to use the website for the company that I worked for. So uh, this is it's a little bit different now how you do things, but uh, you know, still basically the same thing. But I'm going to disappear here for a minute and uh, so you can see the whole uh, website and we will uh, watch a video together. Let's see, make sure I get the right one. That one. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go into my account. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to go real slow. Here you can see all of the uh, different information about me basically this is my account uh, it shows the church here and then it shows uh, uh, my own personal web page um, and so here this is called your dashboard <clears throat> and what this does is it shows you um, all the different houses uh, that you've adopted within your community it shows you the people that you've the households that you've prayed for recently uh, the households that you've cared for shared with and discipled uh, let's watch this uh, video together and it'll actually show us exactly uh, what this is all about give you a better overview than I probably will be able to and then we'll go through a couple other features about the uh, the website here and uh, help you see what it is right. thank you for becoming a light for Christ to your neighbors you should have received your first daily reminder email with a suggested prayer and a list of your next five neighbors to pray for by name. We recommend you click Go to Map Now to help you visualize the neighbors you are praying for that day. This will take you to an overhead view of your neighborhood where those five neighbors will be circled on the map. Click on a neighbor icon to track where you are in your pray, care, share journey with that home. When you have prayed for them, click pray. When you know them, click care. And when you've shared the gospel, click share. When you discover they are following Christ, click disciple. We recommend you encourage these neighbors to sign up to be lights as well. The Notes button allows you to add prayer requests and comments about each neighbor home. We give you the most current list of publicly available information to help you get started meeting and blessing your neighbors. However, people are constantly moving. You can correct any errors in your list by clicking the Edit button to fix or delete incorrect listings. When you change to the List view, you can add missing homes or print out your neighborhood list by clicking the download button. Click the settings icon in the top right corner of the page to modify your neighbor home assignment with the edit on map button, change the number of homes you are adopting, 
change the frequency of receiving your reminder emails, add or change your church name, and several other options. Click Train and Grow to view our amazing collection of ideas, inspirational stories, and free resources. This includes an extremely generous offer of 100 free Jesus Film DVDs, including free shipping. If at any point you need help, click the question mark in the top right corner of the page where you will be able to browse our library of help articles or submit a help ticket for personalized help. One of the best ways to help initiate revival is to invite your Christian friends to become lights to their own neighbors. If your church is not already a partner church, please encourage your pastor to explore all the ways we can help reach every home in your mission field with the gospel. May God bless you as you bless your neighbors. Okay, so as you can see, it's a, uh, it's a pretty unique tool. <clears throat> I remember when we were first shown this uh, a couple years ago, actually, uh, just thinking about what a, a good opportunity it was. It's a little strange to be able to look at all the different people that are around you and uh, know some of the information about them. But uh, basically what this does, in, in my opinion, uh, is it is an accountability thing. It gives you a, a daily reminder that there are people that are around us uh, that need to know... Uh, who Jesus is that need to see what it is that uh, that we can share with them and uh, the biggest thing is is it gives us the reminder that we can pray for them uh, that prayer changes things and uh, I think just having that uh, just constantly be in front of us is is a good idea that there are people that need to know what you know uh, all the time so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna disappear again so I can show you these different areas uh, well, I, I guess I can stay. That doesn't matter. But um, here, like I said, you have your dashboard. That's the first thing that pops up here. Um, gives you a sample prayer. Gives you some stuff to pray about. Um, this is one of the neat things to me that it shows you is uh, that in Florida, there's 170,998 homes that have been adopted. Uh, there's almost 60,000 homes that have been prayed for. Uh, 22,008. 85 homes that have been cared for. That means people have met one another and started to talk. 1,372 people have shared their faith and 544 new believers here. These are people that are actively being discipled. Uh, it's pretty incredible to me to see that. Um, it's interesting then when you see over here in my neighborhood uh, that in for a total of uh, over a thousand homes, there's only two people that are uh, involved in doing this right now. Uh, that obviously doesn't mean there's only two people that are involved in praying for all these homes. That just means that there are two people that are using this uh, tool. So um, let's go back up here. We can look at the map. Uh, it's a little funny when you look at my map because uh, of where we're located. But um, let's see. I'm going to back out a little bit just so you can see the people that are around me. So you have uh, all these different homes uh, right here. Um, now for those of you that are maybe in a neighborhood or in, in a little bit more of a tighter cluster, you'll have quite a bit more directly around you. We've got to back out a little bit more to see uh, where all these people are. But the red ones are the ones that you are actively praying for, that you uh, have already spent time praying for. Uh, you can click on there, it pops up and shows you, you know, the times that you've prayed, you know, those different things. Um, one of the neat things, uh, I guess I shouldn't say neat, you know, in reference to this, but uh, it actually allows you to make notes for the different people that you're praying for. And so once you click on notes there, uh, you can see, like, uh, this is for Bruce and Susan Crawford, but Bruce actually passed away uh, February 1st, so I... I made a note just so that it would be something I could pray for for Susan, uh, that it would be uh, an easy way to be able to care for her. Uh, now, I believe that they're, they're believers, so that makes a, a little bit difference, uh, but we can still pray for one another. It's still a good thing. Um, let's see, I'll close this. And so you just basically see all the different people that are around you. Um, and, uh, you know, 
just gives you the ability to right now like if you wanted to take time and pray for those people you can click on it if you met this person out while you're at the uh well for me dollar general or tom thumb uh, you could actually say hey I, I met this person they live in my area i i, I prayed for them i i'm i introduced myself maybe i invited them to church maybe i uh you know, just shared the gospel real quick with them. Uh, you can click on care or share with them so that you keep that uh, as a reminder. Uh, let's see. Click out of this. And we'll go back out of the map. The same thing you can see with uh, the list here. These are the the people that are on my, you know, list. There are people close around me. Uh, and then one of the... The other ways that you can kind of see the area that's around you and uh, what this can look like if there's more of us that are, are doing it actively is down here you see the this different shade, how it represents uh, different amounts of people that are praying. So because of in this area, there's only, you know, like it said, two people that are on this praying for people. Um, it's pretty, you know, it's a little bit dark, but it's a little light as well. Um, as you back out, you see all the different areas that are around us. And so this area right here represents the area that I'm kind of uh, adopted uh, as the people that I'm praying for. Now that's a, a lot of people and a lot of people that I'll probably never meet. But uh, it's, it's interesting to me that you know, we have the opportunity to pray for people that you may never get to meet. That, that we can be the part of, uh, of actually, you know, pleading on their behalf uh, that God would maybe send us or send somebody to to share the gospel with them. Um, and then as you look around, you have the, the different areas of a lot of light, uh, a lot of areas around us where there's not a, you know, with this app, of course, uh, a lot of people praying. So it, what it does is it shows us that we can take time. We can, uh, we can adopt some of these areas. Now, Hopefully this area right around me uh, gets darker so that we can know that we're praying together, that we're part of this uh, kind of doing something together, that we as the church, like I said, even though we cannot meet you know, physically all the time right now, that we can uh, be praying together, that we can spend time together uh, you know, praying over these people that are in our areas. Uh, the other thing that it shows in the video that's pretty interesting, but... Uh, is helpful here as well, is uh, the resources. Now, I, I thought this was pretty neat, where you can actually get a hundred free uh, Jesus film DVDs uh, for people that you can pass out. Uh, there's the children's one, uh, Magdalena, and then the uh, Jesus film. And what's pretty cool is it's actually in, uh, let's see, all three films are in Let's see, English, Spanish, French, Arabic, Mandarin, Hindi, Urdu, and Vietnamese. Uh, and it's not just that it has the subtitles at the bottom, it actually is lip sync. So you can hand this to somebody that is speaking a different language and it can share what you cannot, you know, speak. Um, there's lots of different articles here. Uh, right now we have probably a little bit extra time. I think it's a good time to maybe read some extra articles about how we can share with people, how we can talk to people, what uh, some strategies for the way that we pray. Um, I, I don't know about you, uh, but there are strategies for the way that we can actually spend our prayer time so that as we pray, we don't just kind of forget about the things that we're thinking about that we need to pray for and the people that we need to pray for. And that's part of what this does is it, it allows us to have a strategy of the people that we're going to pray for. Um, there's books that it recommends. I believe uh, you can actually read those right here. Uh, printable resources. There's videos uh, that allow you to, uh, you know, see all kinds of different stuff, all kinds of websites. Um, I think none of us can really say that we don't pray or share because there's a lack of resources helping us do those things. There's so much information out there for us to uh, share and to, to be able to do what we're called to do in our uh, our area. Uh, the other thing you have here is your settings. I showed you real quick about how to do this in the uh, uh, the video that we watched together, but it just basically has you know real quick information: what your church is, uh, what your address is, uh, the different associations or movements that you're a part of, 
uh, I went through here and uh, let's see, I clicked on the Holston Baptist Association. Uh, it was the association that I was part of in Tennessee that we were uh, um, uh, part of with our church. And then actually the Jacksonville Baptist Association was in here as well. I don't think our Okaloosa Baptist Association is in here. Uh, maybe I missed it. Uh, let me see. North. I don't see it. I, I might just be missing it. If you see it and I don't, just let me know. Um, and, and, oh, let's see, Ozark, Outreach, Ohio. Uh, I don't see that, so we'll get on that to make that make sure that shows up. And then the other thing, uh, this neighborhood connections, the show up as a light. Uh, I think that's pretty important that uh, you go through and click on that so that other people who are part of this that are doing this can see that they're not alone that there are others that are out uh, doing the same thing uh, it's encouraging to each other when we know that we're actually part of this when we know that we're actually doing something together um, it's a it's a really good thing so uh, a couple of things that I thought were were interesting to show you uh, where you can edit your area on the map uh, so you can go through and just click, uh, you know, I want to adopt 40 houses or I want to adopt up to, I think it's 150 or 200 houses. Uh, or you can actually take these and go uh, drag them around to be like, okay, I know these are the areas that I kind of go in. Uh, this is, you know, I, I spend some time in Florella. Uh, we're in Laurel Hill a lot. Uh, we uh, go all the way down into Crestview. Um but I figure, you know, these are the people that I'm I'm going to bump into more often than not uh, that would be uh, around me. So it gives you the ability to actually, you know, drag these things around and uh, make the shape kind of fit your area pretty good. Uh, it shows you the houses that are right around you, the uh, the ones that you've uh, intentionally adopted. And then uh, I'm just going to back out of this. And go back to settings. And then it also allows you to change the days that you get uh, email reminders on. Um, and then if there's any questions you have about any of these, you actually have a little question mark over here that shows you uh, all the different information about what you need to know, whether you should click it. Uh, this notifies you if there's new neighbors that move into your neighborhood uh, so that you can know who they are. Uh, basically, you're a prayer uh, welcome committee, uh, or you can go actually and welcome them. Um, but I think the, the whole point of this uh, is so that we can understand that there are people around us there are, uh, that we can pray for, that we can share with. Uh, it keeps that at the, the front of our mind, but it actually is intentional uh, as far as once we get past all this you know, isolation stuff to be able to go out and actually meet the people that are around you. So right now, what we can do is we can pray. You know, we can spend time. Uh, in prayer for one another and for those that are around us in the neighborhoods. But uh, once we get past this, uh, hopefully, like I said, soon, you can actually take those people that you've been praying for and go and intentionally meet them. Uh, you'll have something to talk about pretty you know, rapidly. Uh, hey, what was it like to be in isolation? Uh, how did you fare with all of this different things going on? Uh, is there anything that I can do for you uh, now that we can actually you know, do different things for one another uh, without, you know, having to worry about all this other stuff. But uh, it just it gives you the opportunity to do that. Uh, I'm going to make a couple more of these videos about different resources that uh, I like to use that, that you can use as well that are free or, uh, you know, if not free, very inexpensive. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that we can be doing right now that we can use this time uh, that we have uh, to read, uh, to use different things on our uh, on the internet to share with people or to talk to people or uh, even just to pray. Uh, I think it's uh, minimalistic when we say just to pray because prayer is you communicating with the God of the universe and, and asking him, begging him uh, to do things. Uh, whether you're praying for you know things with the virus uh, right now with uh, people, uh, whether you have a, a group of people that maybe you take prayer requests from and that you share with, uh, or whether you're praying for specifically salvation of the people that are around you, uh, we can all be part of that. We can all 
uh, join in and make sure that we are, you know, being the church, that we're not just, uh, you know, doing our own thing, that we're not just thinking about when we can get back together and uh, enjoy service together, but that we can actually be the church in the midst of, of this as well. So uh, I hope this is something that you'll utilize. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out. Um, and uh, basically, you just go to the website and you sign up. Uh, I can't show you how to do that because I've already signed up. Um, but it'll show you how to do this very easily. Uh, you can actually download the app if you have an uh, iPhone or an iPad. It won't work with my phone because it's not one of those. It's uh, Android. But... Um, it gives you the ability to do a lot of stuff here that's pretty interesting. So I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, if you need anything or there's something we can do, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, love you guys and I'll uh, see you soon.